you may have heard of Scratch. Scratch is an online software that you can use to learn computer programming. It's a simple drag and drop block based programming where the commands are in uh, simple English like move 10 steps, turn right 15 degrees and using these commands you can do very interesting things. For example, you can create animations like this animation. Or you can make simple games like this alien invasion game. The problem with Scratch is that at present it doesn't work on mobile phones. So if you have a mobile phone and you want to learn Scratch because learning coding is something which is very interesting, very relevant and also it's very useful later in doing electronic projects like robotics, Internet of Things, etc. So if you have an Android phone, you can use another software which is based on Scratch but it works on mobile phones. To install this mBlock software, you just go to Play Store and there you search for mBlock coding for beginners and then you need to install this software. I have already installed it on my phone so I will show you how to use this software. Once you are inside mBlock software you may have to create a free user registration and if you come to coding then you click on plus to start a new project and then you come to this interface. Now mBlock is usually used to program all these different types of robots that uh, this company makes and you can even use it to program Arduino Uno which is a microcontroller but to use it like scratch if you go here and click on all then if you are familiar with scratch you get all these what are called sprites. So these sprites are uh, already present in the library and you can use them to make animated stories, games or many other things. So to understand how to use mBlock and write simple but very interesting programs, let's create a small program where we will write our name and animate it. So my name is Atul. So I'm going to take the first letter of my name A and after I select it on top right, I will click this checkbox and then I can program this sprite. This A is called a sprite. This is the interface of mBlock. Over here you've got programming blocks like motion. So motion is all about movement. So if you create a story where characters are moving or you make a game where things are moving, you use these blocks and like that you've got uh, looks and in looks you have got all these blocks which are you know things to make the character say something or to change the costume of the character, change the background etc. You've got sound, you, you can add voice over to your characters, you can add background sounds, you can uh, add special effect sounds to make your story very interesting or to make your game very interesting. Then you have got uh, other blocks which introduce you to uh, fundamental programming concepts like events or controls which have repeat, uh, which has wait command, which has repeat loops, which has conditional statements and we will look at all this later and then you come to more powerful commands like these uh, sensing commands. So let's create something simple. We have got this sprite called uh, the A sprite and we will animate it. But what's happening right now is that on our stage, this is called the stage, uh, we have got the A sprite and by default this panda sprite is always there. So first let's get rid of this panda sprite. So if I go back, I select the panda sprite and then I can just simply delete this sprite. So now we only have the background and which is plain and we've got this A sprite. So now whatever uh, programming block we will drag and drop for, from here, 
will apply to this A alphabet. So right now A is simply there on the stage because there is no program that we have written. So let's find out some interesting programming commands and create a animated look. So for example, let's start with motion. So if I say uh, move 10 steps and then I have to tell the computer when to move 10 steps. So I will go in events programming block and drag a when green flag is clicked. So this event handler, this block says that when green flag is clicked, move the sprite for which we are doing the programming 10 steps to the right. So if I press here now and test my program, every time I uh, click this green flag, my A stripe, it starts moving 10 steps to the right. I can go back here and I can change this so I can say uh, go minus 40 steps and if I now play this program, if I click the green flag, my A uh, sprite moves to the left because we have said minus and it moves a greater length because we have said minus 50. So one is of course you can move things but I don't want to move it around. So I'm going to uh, drag and drop this to the left and you can see this recycle bin. So I'm going to put it inside the bin to delete the command. And I'm going to go, then I'm going to go back to motion and I'm going to create a little animation. So I'm going to select turn. So I'm going to say turn to the right 15 degrees. And then I want to say turn to the left 15 degrees. Let's run this program and see what happens. When I click, nothing happens. Nothing happens because these uh, two commands which means turn to the right and turn to the left are being executed so fast that the sprite turns but you can't see and just to show you if I delete this I just say click uh, to the right 15 degrees and I test this command then when I will click the green flag it keeps turning but what I want is that my sprite should turn to the right turn to the left turn to the right turn to the left so that there is a little bit of animation in this alphabet or in this sprite. So to do that, what we have to do is we have to go back. So we do want it to move right and left, but we want that when it turns right, it should pause for a little bit and then turn left, pause and then uh, repeat that. So in control, programming block called control, you have a wait command. So I'm going to put it, but in put, uh, put this wait command. So what I'm telling the sprite is, when I click the uh, red flag, turn to the right 15 degrees, wait for, and I can change this value and I'm going to say wait for just, uh, uh, wait for just 0.5 seconds, so 0.5 seconds. And then I'm going to say turn back to the right. And then again, I'm going to say wait for 0.5 seconds. So let's run this command. So now when I press See, I get my little movement, my sprite jiggles a little. But there are two things that we want to do. One, we want to make this sprite upright because it's, it's now to the right. So we want to make it uh, stand up uh, the right way up. And secondly, we don't want that whenever we press this button, then it shakes. We want it to shake, let's say 10 times. So first, let's make the sprite turn upright. So for that in motion, I'm going to bring out this command called point in direction. I'm going to insert it here. I want my sprite to be 90 degrees upright and then do follow these commands. So for this, I'm going to click the green flag. So now you can see my sprite is the right way up and every time I click it turns, it jiggles a little. So now I want it to jiggle, let's say 10 times. And for this, I can go to control and I can say, repeat this set of commands 10 times. Now, if I run this program, I have, when I will click the green button, I'll have my A character jiggle 10 times. 